Okay, in this video we're just going to run through how you can link up pages in Google Docs or essentially in PDFs as well because we can create PDFs from this. So just to quickly show you, this is kind of like a book that I've just finished writing and I just wanted to link all of these up so you can kind of see if you click on any of these they'll take you to somewhere. So if we click on say starting a business or defining a business you can kind of see we've got this link here and we can click on it and it will take us to that section of the um, of the book. So that's kind of what we want and that there, there'll be parts within the book as well so it might be like uh, there'll be bits like this and it refers to something and then you want the user to kind of click to that section and it looks a little bit strange in a Google Doc but um, when you you can export PDFs from here just by going file uh, download and then you can do it as a PDF and then I can show you quickly in a PDF so this is sort of how it will look when you do it so you can jump into say we'll do the same one again defining your business it's just there it looks a little bit like a link you can click on it and one of the, there's a couple of ways you can kind of do this and there, there may be things that you want and don't want while you're doing it so one, one of the things that can be slightly annoying with it is that um, you know you the way it's structured is basically you can write a bit of text so if for example let's just go right to the bottom of this and I'll just make a new page and then we can just say link to uh, piece of text piece of advice a piece of text and then what we can do is we highlight it and then we come up to this which is our insert link and you've got the option to um, you know you could link out to um, you know just a, a website or something like that you know like a reference or an email anything like that but what we're looking to do is link to things within here so by default you won't have any options to um, link to things within the document potentially if you if it's not structured properly so you can see here what we can do if I type in the word introduction or something like that yeah there we go so the start of it you can see here it's bringing back all the things that have kind of got that in it so you can see I've got introduction interest and the reason for that is because these are headers in the um, in, in the document so uh, if we go to introduction for example that's the first one so it's easy to find it's right there you can kind of see what we've got here is a heading two so the way I've structured it is using the headings from here and it can be slightly difficult if you've just got if the whole thing is just paragraphs you're not going to have the option to link to anything so if you want to be able to link to them within the document you'll have to make them into headers um, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to change everything because you can um, you can use the options within here. If you just say apply heading, uh, like heading one, it changes the text and it looks all different and it's, it's just not quite right. So we can undo that just with command or control Z. What we can do is you can actually come to update heading to uh, like heading one or two or whatever to match. And then by doing that, it keeps all the styles that you've already got but it turns it into a heading. So by doing that, you're essentially allowing it to be linked in the text, um, but you're not having to change everything about it. One slightly annoying thing on the other side of it, so if I link this, um, you can also do right click and hit insert link. What you might find is, let's just say we will link to say introduction and you can see that's in there we've got other ones in there like distractions international clients all these different headers we can easily go through and find them and link to what we need to link to we'll hit introduction and then you can see that's turned this into what looks like a traditional kind of hyperlink on a website so um, you know if it's in a sentence like hello um, here's a link to a piece of text and then some more text you might not want that to be like bright blue and underlined so what you could potentially do is just highlight that piece of text we come up to here you can see the text color has been made blue like a hyperlink blue you might just want that to be black so you know and then the the under underline indicates that it's potentially a link 
So you've got your link there still, but it's not quite, you know, it's not like a blue link. And it, it might be that you want that, you know, and if it's like you want to change it so it's a bit more subtle, you could have it so that it's just like a, a darker blue or whatever it may be. You can remove the underline from it easy enough just by using this one here. So you've got options both ways, but um, yeah, essentially that is how it works. So if you want to link to things in a document, um, what you'll need to do is to sort of create headings and structure, and then that way you can link to those things. And the good thing about that over say, you know, I want to link to page 42 or whatever it may be. The thing is because stuff's always changing within documents that we're writing. So, you know, you change something on page two and then page 42 becomes 43 or 44. You might remove some text and it goes back and becomes like, you know, in the 30s somewhere. And linking to that heading just ensures it's always going to go to that place no matter what page it's on. So it's just quite a nice way to do it. And then, like I say, you know, once you um, once you export all of that and you, you bring it out into your PDF, is all still there all those links still work so yeah hopefully that's been helpful and you know you found that useful but you know for things like contents pages like i said just one-off links to things throughout somewhere else in a, in a long form document like this um it can be quite useful so um yeah if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments if you want to see more content like this then uh, please subscribe